Who are you? I'm Victoria Little Boots. Welcome to Austin, Texas. Thank you. Are you from Austin? No, I'm not. I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Okay, but you're welcoming me anyway. Well, actually, I'd like to give, yes, I am, and I'd like to give you a Vancouver, BC gift. Check this out. This is a gift for you involving fantasy. You love fantasy, don't you? I love this. This is amazing. What can you tell the people about you and fantasy and why you'd like this, perhaps? This is Sweeney Todd's record. Oh, my God. I just like kind of silly fantasy, like airbrushed art of, like, women's faces in space with, like, eagles and stuff. And this particular band is really interesting because they're from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and look who they feature on the back. Do you know who that is? Yeah. Brian Adams. Whoa. That's Brian Adams' first band. Massive. Sweeney Todd. That's massive. Now, looking at this picture here, Little Boots, what do you think? Would you ever pose for an album like this? There's some naughty bits exposed there, aren't there? Yeah, I don't think I'd get my boobies out. I wouldn't mind being a kind of horse woman. That might be cool, but maybe not with the breasts. So that's a gift from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada for you, Little Boots. Where did you find this from? At a record store in Vancouver called Zulu Records. That's so I brought this all the way to Texas to give to you, Little Boots. Three of you. It's very me. So they, is it a good record? Though? Oh, it's incredible. You'll really dig it. In fact, you'll probably cover it soon on YouTube, oh, right? I will. I'll do it just for you. And you'll think of Brian Adams. Thank you, Little Boots. Amazing. Now, Little Boots, I'm saying you're really nice. You're the best of the boots, aren't you? What? Are there other boots? Well, you're giving Boots and Lil a good name, aren't you? I'm actually little, not Lil. But when I come to States, everyone thinks it's Lil, like I'm a rapper. They're like, hey, Lil Boots. Like, it's really urban. I quite like it. Well, I think you're giving Lil a good name because I here at South by Southwest tried to do an interview with Little. What? I tried at South by Southwest to do an interview with Little. Little what? Little John. Who's Little John? Little John, you know the rapper? Uh, no. There's a rapper called Little John. He goes, eh. I know the what? He invented crunk. He invented crunk. Oh, right. I should know this. Yeah. And he said no. And then I tried to do an interview with Little Steven. You know, Little Steven's Underground Garage, Bruce Springsteen's guitarist. And you know what he said? No. No. So thank you, Little Boots, for... for the little. You're the best of the littles. You're giving Little a good name. Good. And continuing on with the Canadian connection, Little Boots, from Vancouver, there's a band called Fan... Death. Fan Death. They're from Vancouver. I knew that one. Uh, who you like. You like Fan Death, don't you? Oh, I really like them. They're brilliant. They're one of my favorite new bands. And what's interesting, Marta from Fan Death has said that people think she is Little Boots. <laughs> Why? She's been mistaken for Little Boots in London and New York. No, but then no one ever like says to me, no one thinks I'm Little Boots. Well, has anybody ever thought you're Fan Death? That's what I'm just wondering. Well, maybe she should just take over my job, actually, because like, I never get, and people never know who I am. So if she's getting spotted, maybe she just should go for it. This is another gift for you. What can you tell the people about Alexander Robotnik at all, Little Boots? Crypta, rare Robotniks, oh wow. Um, he is like a kind of Italo-ish godfather basically. He had that song Problems D'Amour which is like a classic. Um, and then he, I kind of got in touch with him because he did a remix of my songs to Can Repeat which I didn't even think he'd do and my manager's like yeah yeah he's gonna do it which I was like wow and then he was so amazing and he said you know I love this song so much I'm gonna give it you as a gift and he want you to have this remix and I, I couldn't even change the song too much because I, I love it so much and, and so it's amazing because he was always a bit of a hero of mine and and yes. Rare Robotniks 1982 he's been on the scene a long time. Oh, yeah he's like an old like godfather of kind of electronic early electronic dance music yeah. The Robotnik. Now, I was wondering, Little Boots, you like the Robotnik, but going back to your past, is Bl Blink-182 punk? No. Well, I don't think so. Because weren't you in a punk band, quote, that covered Blink-182? How can you be in a punk band if you cover Blink-182? I was 16 and we thought we were a punk band. But we did play Blink-182 and No Doubt covers, so we probably weren't. But we were 16 and we thought we were. What about the Cribs? Didn't they influence you quite a bit? The good old Cribs. That's punk, isn't it? Um, I don't know if they're punk, but yeah, I love the Cribs. They're great. When was that that you saw them? You saw them with the Kaiser Chiefs, right? Yeah, yeah. I um, I went to university in Leeds for five years. They're just from Wakefield down the road, so I've seen them like play loads of times, really small places. I just think they were really good, but I just love them. I think there's just something really genuine about them, and they're just like really no bullshit. They're just honest, and they don't give a shit about what people think. I think they're cool. They just got good pop songs. 
Little Boots, Leeds Blackpool. What's Blackpool like? Is it like Christmas every day in Blackpool because there's lights hanging from the trams that go around there? What can you explain about the lights hanging from the trams and Christmas every day in Blackpool? Uh, I would say it's not Christmas every day in Blackpool. Um, and there's only lights hanging from the trams for about two months a year. But it's like a, it's a bit like trying to be Vegas, but a lot smaller and a lot colder. And um, it's kind of run down, but that's the beauty of it in a way. And it's just a really special kind of place. It's, it's kind of an entertainment town, which I think is cool. Blackpool also has an annual transvestite competition. Oh, I didn't know that. Convention? I have no idea. I'm not into the Blackpool transvestite scene. Not that I have anything against it, but I have never been involved in it. Who is Dee Dee Jackson and the song? Oh, look at that outfit. It's amazing. Oh, my love it. This is Dee Dee Jackson and Automatic. Yes. Oh, my love it. It's one of my favorite songs. I, we did a tour that I named after this. The Automatic Lovers Store, and I did an Automatic Lovers mixtape as well that I put online. What can you say about Dee Dee Jackson? Amazing! She's like a, she was like the kind of, the front for another Italo project in the kind of early 80s. She had a few like one hit wonders that were very like space disco, space influenced, and um, just all songs about making love to robots and spacemen and stuff. And, and she just wears these like insane outfits, her videos are amazing. I just love the whole vibe of it, it's a cool aesthetic. Little Boots, how's your suitcase doing? Uh, I got a new one. I got a very expensive one because I was just couldn't face the trauma again. So I actually parted a lot of money on a suitcase now. A good suitcase. I think it's my new house, so it's cheaper than buying a house, isn't it? I mentioned this earlier, a little bit about your YouTube videos. And you have one video on there called Boots Got a New Toy. Yeah, I do. Boots Got a... You get a lot of new toys, don't you? I do now, but then I didn't. Boots Got a New Toy, and I love one of the comments that went with it below. Did you ever read the comments that go below? I've stopped, because some of them was just so obscene. I have stopped now. This is one of the comments, and it goes, quote, There's a bottle of Jack Daniels in the background. Is this girl great or what? <laughs> so I don't even drink whiskey. It's because... Um, we, when we tour, we get riders and we don't always drink them, so I just steal them and take them home and give them my friends. But that totally won over that guy. He loved the jack in the background. It's obviously thought it was like a closet alcoholic. People were really studying the vids. Did you think that when you were filming them? It's like, how can you even see that in the background? It's kind of weird. I, like, I can't make anything out on YouTube. And people are like, yeah, she's got like a green bookcase. And I'm like, well, how do you know this? So we're here at Joe's winding up at South by Southwest so you can have some internet access. You're always on the net, aren't you? Well, not this week. I've been suffering with jaw symptoms. I'm not on the net at all this week. So do you feel a bit on edge because of that? Oh, I just my f I know that my fans like, love my blog and I it's something I really enjoy doing. And if I don't do it for a while, like, the whole point is that they can like, you know, I'm out here, but I'm t saying what's going on. And, and then when I can't do it, I do get a little bit frustrated so yeah but I, I was actually doing it for something else I had to some stuff I had to do some boring work stuff but um, I do like when I can't get it I get a bit touchy and Little Boots you were nominated for the best enemy award weren't you, you what award was that the best blog the best blog <laughs> yeah and what happened I lost you lost and that's why you're so serious you're gonna win it next time aren't you? isn't that, that's, that the best award to be nominated for I think so yeah but Noel Gallagher won does he even blog? Does he really blog? Apparently he's really funny. I you check out the competition. I needed to. I meant to. I forgot. Yeah, I should have done. And winding up here, Little Boots, I ran into a woman called Lana who does the Lana show, an internet TV show, and she was saying she saw you backstage at the Jimmy Kimmel show. Oh, God, Lana from, yeah, yeah, I know he In really. the green room. Yes, yeah, very true. What were you doing there with Maximo Park? I was um I was just like on my last day in LA I walked down the street and ran into like the singer and they were like oh I'll come and watch because I'd met them at a gig or something so I was like yeah alright I was like on my own in LA I didn't have anything else to do that wasn't when you were with your band Death Disco uh no I don't think um I can't, no I don't think I was at the time no I was on my own out there and um I didn't really have anything else to do so I was like yeah alright um so I went and I obviously didn't know anyone so I just sat backstage getting drunk and then like ended up chatting to Lana and this other guy who were making videos and they and just got drunk. Little Boots live at Joe's Cafe South by Southwest 2009. Thank you very much. I like your shirt and pan combo. Well, thank you very much Little Boots. And anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? Uh, get, get this look. It's incredible. Why should people care about Little Boots? Little Boots. Why should people care? <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully because they like my songs. Well, thanks so much, Little Boots. Keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 do.